Oh, I dare. Here we go. Mondo Mole. Looks like he's a messy mole. I think I can use paralysis on this Mondo Mole. Yeah, let's let's try that. We'll use some paralysis. And I guess other than that, we just hit him. So he's just sitting there. He's not hurting us, because he cannot move. I wonder if that means he can move again. I guess I'll try it again. And just bash. It did not work. That is awesome. Let's try this again. So, it didn't work, but he still can't move. So maybe I should have just been bashing this whole time. I don't know how long the paralysis works. So all he can seem to do is some defensive spells. He just keeps shielding himself, but he's not hurting me. Well, that was hard. Alright. That's a good bit of experience. So what do we get for this? What is this? So our last one was Giant Step. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Lilliput steps. So we went from giant step to tiny step. Alright. Well, that's some good music. I'm glad the soundstone recorded it. Now we get to go back. And everybody runs away from us. wonder if I can get a green on one of these guys. Yeah, that's what I was hoping would happen. Ness's level is 25 on a green flash. Sweet. That was one of the weakest ones I've seen. I just noticed that Paula only needs like less than 200 experience to level up, so I'm just gonna come in here. Oh, I thought I would get a green and level her up like that. Well, that's okay. Okay, so this should level up Paula again. Level 20. That was a good level up. Wow, that was a really good level up. Alright, now that we've done that, let's go back, finally, take Paula back home. See, we could have done this, we could have taken Paula home first, and then come back, but we're already here, and that's a pretty good place to level up, so I figured it made sense to just level her up right there. I guess the snakes are gone from this cave. So, ominous music still abounding, frightening tree, still needs to be killed last. I hate that tree, so we'll kill the mobile sprout. In one hit from Paula. Still a pretty strong thing here. We'll kill it, it will explode, and we'll hit the button really fast so that the mortal damage doesn't totally kill us, and... Okay, we lose about 20 to 30 hit points each. Here's the bridge that got fixed. Do I need any... anything? Nah, we'll just get this.
Blue, blue. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just trying to help. Well, good for you, buddy. Still says happy, happy village. I guess I could still be happy, happy village and not be evil, right? Still collecting mushrooms. I guess I didn't really need to do that. Let's go back home, Paula. Let's go back home. And we will see your family. Here we go. Look! Yahoo! I use the internet from 1996. I knew it! You saved Paula! I don't understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Ooh! A home- a handmade band-aid. A hand-aid! Paula got the hand-aid. Okay, so is he in here? Oh! I guess he's outside. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, just like Paula's dream. Yeah, journey to save the world. In three, the next town will meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Yeah, don't cry anymore, cry baby dad. What are you doing? Following us around? You're not allowed to do that. Yeah, you will though. Any kids say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you already said that. So you didn't change what you said when I brought her back. You were that excited to see her, you just told me the same thing that you told me when she wasn't there. Yo, how's it going? Cool. Let's go see what Everdread has for us. How's it going, Mr. Everdread? I was gonna ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was gonna give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000, also known as illegal money. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil money money statue that liar exaggerate unearthed in one act. I'll see you at another time, in another space. Paula got the water bill, so I guess we can't spend the $10,000 on anything we want. He says we can, but if you try, it's not really money in your money area, so it's just a thing here. So you have goods. Wad of bills. Doesn't say that we have $10,000. We can't even go buy that house if we wanted to in one et, so what's the point of that? So, now that we've got ourselves a wad of bills, so to speak. Well, what's he doing here? Alright. Make our way up to this little area here. Yeah, you're just a regular Joe. That's cute. What do we got going on over here? Alright. Alright, a backstage pass. Cool. Oh, look, we get to have our picture taken. Hi, Mr. Picture Taker. Fuzzy Pickles! That was a great photograph. It will bring back the fondest memories for sure. What do we got going on in here? Oh. Poor you. What about you? Alright. I got a best stage pass. Does that work? Awesome. Oh. 
Now this is an amazing place. Well, of course I talk to everyone. What are you doing down here? Yeah, they, they sure are. Yeah, well, even Mr. T came in here. Okay. Um, alright. I guess she can walk in. They're not changing their clothes when she tries to walk in. Alright, what are you guys doing? Yeah, you guys can't do anything. Stuck in debt like that. Well now. I guess we get to have a show. Yay, the Runaway Five! Oh yeah, baby! That was an amazing show. Okay. Now we can come in quick. We will not be shy. What are you doing? No, that's enough. Alright. Alright, well, let's see what we can do to help these guys out since they are stuck in debt and we're just awesome like that. Get out of our way? Yeah, that's what I thought. We'll just walk right in here past the security guard and talk to this guy. Yeah, like I'm gonna decide to pay off their debt. That would just be the silliest thing that I could do. You know, wait, what? Um, well, there you go. We are now the coolest kid in the world because we paid for a bunch of bums that couldn't pay for their own bills and stuff. Well, I think that's a good place to end it off. Happy as ever. We got the Runaway 5 back. Away from their manager here, Mr. Evil Mustache Man. Join me next time and we will embark on the next... I don't know what you want to call it. The next chapter in our tale. Yeah, join me next time. Bye.